everybody, this is Chris from Still Harmony. Thank you for joining me. Today's video, we are going to make some sugar scrubs. And the one I just made is so excellent that I wanted to share it with you. I've seen this, I think, on Pinterest and I had these frozen fruits. So today I am going to use some raspberries because that's one of my favorite fruit. It is my favorite fruit, actually. And it smells so good, it's a shame you can't smell it. And I got a little cheat sheet here note to tell you all about uh, raspberries. So it says that it's an excellent source of vitamin C, manganese, dietary fiber, um, vitamin B as well, um, folic acid, copper, iron, a highest concentration of antioxidant strengths, almost all fruits. So it's really good. It reduces wrinkles. It's also, they say that it's excellent to fight cancer. I'm not a doctor, but that's what I've learned in different uh, websites. Uh, it works like magic on wrinkles. So you can put some of these raspberries into, they say, um, can be made into great facial mask for glowing skin. Just mix one cup of plain, of plain yogurt and two cups of fresh raspberries. Blend the mixture until it becomes completely smooth. So there are so many ways you can use these and of course eat them because they're good inside, they're good outside. Apparently they're very good also for people that has eye problems. So check that out. So very simple. We're going to use some sugar. I'm using white sugar here. If you want to use cane sugar, that's fine. We're going to use coconut oil and the raspberries. So mine were frozen. Now, because here it's really hot, I, um, I blended them to become as a powder, but they're already melted down, but it's just fine. Use what you have. Again, if you want to use strawberries or blueberries, that's just fine. And the measurements are not, don't have to be precise. Just do whatever you want. And you will need a jar. I forgot to tell you that. So I've got a baby jar here that I uh, cleaned up, of course, and I've sprayed the lid with a little bit of gold to make it nicer. And I'm going to do a whole bunch for my friends uh, that I will see tomorrow. So uh, I've put a cup here and I'm just going to put a little bit of this, of these blueberries now in here. And you don't need to put a lot of it, uh, depending on what you want, the color, the strength of it. It's just good. And I'm adding, I'm eyeballing the quantity of coconut oil. So coconut oil also is perfect for your health. Some people uh, eat it or drink it, cook with it. I, I personally don't. I usually use it for my skin, for my scrubs, also for your hair. If you have dry hair, that's perfect. So I'm going to mix this. And you could also use, um, add a little bit of um, lemon in here because it's antifungus because there is water I usually don't add any water but this is so good as soon as I I got it done I said oh, I'm gonna share this with you look at these colors I mean this color it's so beautiful and I might add a little bit more sugar if you want to make it a lighter pink add less raspberries or add more sugar And, oh my, oh, it smells so good. Oh, I like my scrubs to be chunky. I don't like them to be too, uh, you know, watery or melted because depending on where I'm going to use my scrub, if I'm going to use it on my face, I just put a little bit in my, in my hand and add water because when it's very chunky, it tends to hurt a little bit my skin. But if I want to use it on my feet, under my feet to scrub it off, I want this to be chunky, to really scrape all the hard skin away. So I usually keep it quite chunky. This is why I don't add too much um, coconut oil, but it's just good enough to make everything blend together and you will feel it. It's so good. I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. So, you know, again, this is not a precise recipe. I think I want to make it a little lighter. And I'm going to make some for my students tomorrow. They're going to be so happy with this. A little, you know, New Year gift. Just came back from holidays, so I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, I like this color. 
Oh gosh, it smells good. Ooh, I love it. I love it. And don't worry about the color. It's not going to color your skin. Okay. Everything is natural here. Everything is natural. I love it. Now, what you need to do, you could put some essential oils in here, like vitamin E also. That would be good. I don't have any. Uh, I've just ordered some online at Amazon, and I'm waiting for it. So you might want to use that, because that's good, too, if you want to add it. I wouldn't put, e though, uh, almond oil in here, because usually almond oil... Uh, you know the big bottles uh, have a very strong smell to it so it might cover up the smell of your raspberries and now just fill your jar with this oh it's oh look at this uh, let me do a little close-up here can you see this can you see this color let me see if you can oh I don't know it's so beautiful and it's it's also very shiny let me see if I can put it down I'm going to change maybe the settings of my camera so you might see the colors a little different. So hold on a second, I'll be just back. Okay, so now that this is done, I had to cut the video. I'm sorry, there was too much noise coming in. So I'm going to put all these, all this sugar into my little container here. There we go, and I'm going to fill it up, really. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put my lid back on. Okay, I like these little baby food containers. Oh, let me, hold on a second, I'm going to pause this again. I forgot to close my window. Okay. Okay, so let me see if the light is good, right? And now we're going to do some decoration. So what I have done here is that I've already cut out, punched out a circle. And I really like the color this one has. It's really cute. And I'm going to put it on top. So I've put double-sided tape on it and a little paper flower. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. There we go. So I'm going to center it. Kind of, yes, that's fine. And now we're going to do the big part of the decoration here. So what I have done here, I've printed out some uh, little tags or little labels, and I would like to write what I've got in here. I think it's nicer and it has a more professional look to it. And I already written this um, raspberry scrub. I'm going to try to give it a try with this little. Um, pen here, it's a gel pen, and I'm going to do the same thing to see which one is best. So let's do it again. Raspberry scrub. Okay. So I like it because it's it's really shiny. There is a little shim to it and some... Uh, yeah, I like it. I think I like it better than the black one. I'm not sure. Tell me what you think in the comment below and I will get back to you anyway. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut it out. This label might be a little too big for my um, container but I'm going to try to make it fit anyway. So I'm really cutting out this very quickly. Take your time when you do this because, the, you know, it's important to have a nice decoration, especially if you want to sell these at craft fairs. I mean, it's really going to look nice. So I'm going to take this away because it's stained anyway. And what I will do here is that I'm going to put some um, tape on it. So let me grab my tape. Sorry for the noise. That's it. And I cut a large piece. It's a large piece of tape that I've got here. And what I'm going to do is just try to eyeball it and put it there as well as I can. So this is going to protect my paper because, you know, it's oily in here because of the coconut oil and I don't want my um, my label to be stained. So I'm just going to cut off 
here the excess and I'm going to keep a little bit of tape and I'm going to use it to tape it on my uh, container here. It's a bit big but you know what it's going to be fine just for now. So there you have it. Oh yeah I think it's already looking really nice. What do you think? I like it. I really like it. Yep. And now we're going to put a ribbon because there's a lot of pink. I'm going to use this. Um, it's not white. It's kind of not really beige, but it's not completely white either. Okay, I'm starting to. I'm going to press this down, make a little knot here. And I have also the same flower that I'm going to use there. And I'm going to start making my second knot. And because I've got a little tail here on my flower, I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can. I'm going to try and tuck it in here before knotting my knot too tight. There. And I'm going to make a knot. And I don't know why, but I succeed better in doing my knots upside down. I've tried other techniques. Is you know, there's a lot of YouTubers that do great jobs in knit in making bows and knots, and I am not good at it. It's not perfect. I don't want it to be too big. So I need to make it tight enough. Oh yes, I like it that way. I'm going to cut this piece off and there you have it it's done look at this I really think it's cute and I could center it a little better or I can put it off center if I wanted to but look at that done in minutes a few uh, ingredients needed the smell is great the color is great is good for your skin so I mean so easy to do. Please give me your comments, leave me your comments and I'll get back to you. If you have any recipes other than these, I'm going to make a whole bunch of them because there's some with banana smell or oranges and some zest of orange. They're great too. And this is really nice and you can use these all year long. And this is also good for um, if you have sunburns. I know that right now this may not happen, but this is good. So please give me some thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Sharing is caring. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>